Yes, it is. And back there, yeah, back there, this is all my rainwater catchment barrels that uh, I talked about in the last video, and we're gonna finish up on that today. So, what we need to do is plug in the hose, finish off the tops, and then bring the bring the uh, faucet out to the end here where I can get to it. So let's get to it. Now, you know, this this backyard looks horrible. <laughs> it really does. And it's because I've been, I haven't, I didn't do any gardening last year because the whole idea that we're going to sell and move. But I want to do it this year anyways, even though the getting stuff ready and the renovations are even going to ramp up because I want to be able to try to get it on the market somewhere around spring. But we're going to do a little bit of transformations back here anyways, uh, so it'll sell. Plus, I'm going to put the garden back here. So, let's get a good look at it now. Here are the horrible B4 shots. Compost pile that needs to be moved. Some old wood needs to be moved. Never did put uh, concrete down in that spot there that I <coughs> was going to. Even did a video on preparing for it. Here's compost for now, and that's going to have to be moved. But we'll get to all that, so stay tuned because you're going to see the fun. All right, let's get back to the project at hand. That was the hunter cat laying in wait for its next victim. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, drain holes and this other lid that I brought in. I've got one more lid out there I need to grab. We'll put the drain holes in those, cut the screen to keep the bugs out of the drain holes. And, um, and then once we get those up there, then we'll take care of the tubing. This is what I found uh, to connect the downspout to the first barrel. We'll see how that works. This is the only thing I can find in the size. I'm gonna have to cut it down for length a little bit, but I, I'm pretty sure that the size of the opening of the end of it gonna work the the diameter of the hose that's what I'm after okay let's get to it I really don't need that in there now Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark around the outside edge of the top here and then cut it. And that way when I slide it inside, the edges will fold up just a little bit so that whenever I put the ring down, that ring will, should snug it down and hold it in place. There you have it. When you uh, screw this down on top of the lid, on top of the barrel, should snug it down really good. So let's hope this works. And there you have it. They're all seated down, got their screen in them. So the water will come in and then go through them little holes 
into the into the barrel itself hopefully this screen will keep out the bugs it's not as small as the actual uh, bug screen but that bug screen was expensive for this little bit of application here I'm not gonna put that much money out for that bug screen so we'll just hope that this does it all right now it's time to hook it up got the hose got the hose clamps got the screwdriver for the hose clamps A little tight up there it's taut I should say the reason for that is because I'm assuming that over time it's going to relax it's going to uh, expand a little bit and I, I don't want a whole lot of droop in there the water's never going to get in also it's white plastic I don't know how well it's going to last outside I may have to try to find something black that's that's better for this uh, being under the sun all the time but we'll see how that works at least now it'll start raining when it rains, it's going to start filling these barrels for me, uh, which I'm going to need in about a month or so. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up now. I got to. I still need to uh, put the pipe, lengthen the the faucet out to the end of the end of the stand here. Uh, we got to go in here and get that and bring it out. But I'm not going to worry about that right now, because uh, I'm hungry, and uh, this is probably a long enough video. So I'm going to go eat. I'm going to end this here. We'll get on with the rest of this later on. Plus, I've got uh, cabinets to do. I got all kinds of stuff to do. And it's going to get done, and you're going to watch it. So, thanks a lot for coming by and watching this one, this subject. I will talk to you later. Bye bye. You know, I don't think that you could call this recreation, although I do enjoy it. But, how many people would be willing? make this kind of a sacrifice out in the cold early in the morning. You could be, you know, home in bed, snuggle up with your mama. Instead, I'm out here making sure that I got a place to go in case something happens. And I don't know how many people would get that kind of sacrifice. I know there's there are people out there that will, but the odds are there's going to be more people that won't, and those people are going to be trying. And those are the people that will, uh, be knocking at this door someday if something goes down. Hey everybody, subject here.